everyone, um, today I am going to make a what's in your camera bag video. Um, I just changed my SD card because the other, if we just realized I only have 4 gig of the other SD card so I had to change. So I have longer video <laughs> time so I don't have to cut it that much. Anyway, so I am going to talk about the camera bag that I'm going to bring tomorrow. I am going on a summer fair with my cousin and my sister. So um, compared to the other years where um, I have to go there with friends or family members and mainly um, go on rides and um, eat and have fun and play games at the kiosk. I am going to just stay there and mostly take photos. Um, so this is what I have, but before that, I'm going to discuss the contents. Um, still debatable on what to bring is which of these. These, I have a really cheap, it's not really cheap, but it's, you know, it's a tripod that I used when I had to make videos with the, the Lumix. And this is um, a Konica tripod. It zips up. It has a case, which I really like. And this is the Konica Joy Ace. Um, this is very old. Um, my family owned this since I was little. And you, if you've seen our Autoboy, if you have seen my Autoboy 2 video, you can actually see that. Um, um, or I mean, rather that camera. A similar camera has been paired up with this tripod so anyway so this is what I have um, this bag I got it from eBay it's a random find there's no brand I got it from South Korea um, I'm looking I've been looking for a cheap satchel bag that you can use as a camera bag and everyone that they sell everything rather that they sell on the internet is so damn expensive so I just want an everyday bag that I could use um, it has an adjustable thing right here and this one you can actually bring anywhere and you can actually remove the insert if you want to use it as a regular purse or something. So on, I'll start with the non-camera related so I'm just going to be bringing a hand sanitizer and a lip balm. It's going to be humid there and um, sunscreen, I just got it and my cell phone. Uh, maybe I'll put that away because I have calls to make. And if I'm doing a serious shoot, can you see me right there? Hello. Um, I never fail or I try not to forget to bring a business card because I never know if I meet someone there. So I'm bringing this. It's good to meet other people who take photos. And just my hanky and my wallet on the other side. And this insert is again removable. So this is what I'm going to bring. It's it's kind of messy right now because I tried to shoot this video so many times, but to no avail. So I'll I'll be bringing I'll explain why am I bringing these cameras. But anyway, I'll start with the Lumography fish eye. Right there, I have the fish eye one, and this one I loaded with a pro image. If you could see it properly, there you go like a pro image 100 ISO I believe a pro image is another version of the Kodak Pro Photo I mean same same company I'm not really sure because I tried pro image and it's not as vibrant as the pro, pro photo but anyway um, the second camera is another Lumography camera this is a super sampler in blue I got this from the Lumography store in Toronto when it just it just opened. I was there in November. I wasn't in the opening party, but I was there when it was still new. And as a remembrance, um, I bought this. Um, this one is loaded with Fuji Film Pro Plus 100, one of my favorite <laughs> colored films. And the last one would be um, if you're a lumographer or a film toy, film camera, or toy camera enthusiast, you know this is a Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim. It has 22 millimeter lens f f 11, I think, and then 22 millimeters, I think. Um, I 
put an Ektor 100 here and I am seriously hoping that it will be sunny and bright tomorrow but the forecast is that it's going to, going to be sunny with thunderstorms but anyway I'm bringing these the reason is because the other two cameras are gonna be so fun and distorted I want something normal so and wide it's going to be a fair and why am I bringing film cameras mostly because of the weather and second I'm going there to shoot mostly if I am just gonna be there with my family to and have snapshots of what we did I'll probably bring my Lumix but I'm there to shoot and I'm there to have fun by taking photos so and I mostly have fun when I take film photos I mean I, I don't know I mean I was born in the 80s I love film so <laughs> so there you go um, plus the weather um, I don't want to worry about my digital stuff getting wet except for my cell phone getting wet tomorrow if it, it rains and I had a bad experience at the fair raining so bad so and what is this what brick what is this brick um, I got it from um, Japan exposures this is a Fuji film hard case um, and what's in here is analog goodness <laughs> so I have film and I have another spare roll right here that I just bought earlier this afternoon I have an Ektar Ektar I believe I mostly have 200s and I have a couple of 400s here just to be on the safe side in case we stayed later and I have to take night photos um, but I have mostly 200s and 100 ah anyway so yeah and I I will probably make a separate video out of this tray but I definitely love this um, on a on a previous occasion where I had to bring film cameras to take photos with um, I'll be bringing the plastic cases like the individual plastic cases that the film comes with and it's so bulky and I don't have enough room and I had to change with it using a different camera bag and all that stuff but with this it just all 10 rolls of film in one convenient case and I just throw it in there and it's all good so yeah so this is what I'm planning to bring like what I said these are still debatable um, I'll pro probably throw in a mineral water like distilled water um, and probably my iPod because I'll be busing on my way there so yeah, let me know if you ever guys watch this. Let me know which one to use. Because <laughs> I'll prob probably end up deciding in anything. I don't know. And I'll, most, I'll, sh I'll share pictures as well if you visit my blog. So thank you so much for watching. So this is my camera bag. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.